Coin on. Hello, YouTube coin community. It's me, Robert, with Coin Up. In this year in review, we're going to do the year 1960. Now, this is going to start a series. I'm going to do the entire decade of 1960. However, you're going to find that this is going to be a little bit different platform. In 1960, they had varieties in every series. I'm talking the pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars. Every one of them had a variety, so I don't believe I'll be able to get them in one. It's probably going to take multiples, so I hope you hit the thumbs up. I hope you subscribe to watch the entire series, because this is going to be an exciting year just for 1960. But throughout the entire decade of the 60s, there's varieties all kinds of places. And I'm going to go a little bit more in detail this time. I'm going to add a lot of RPMs and just things that you can find if you're coin roll hunting, searching your pocket change, or bank wrap rolls that you happen to get. Um, even like just the going to the bank and getting a box of pennies going through them. There's so many varieties from the decade 1960. So we do hope you stick through and watch it all the way to the end. Um, okay. Let's look at a little bit of history for each year. I'll do this on each year. I'll give you a little bit of history, and then I'm going to take a little look at some of the coins. And like I say, this first year, 1960, it was a very important year. It was a new decade. The 1955 had taken and created a whole lot of excitement in the hobby for varieties and errors. Uh, the BIEs were out there. There's just a lot of things, and I'll go over some of those as we get through this uh, series. So... Again, I hope you stick around, subscribe, and let's get at it. In 1960, an ounce of gold would have cost you $35.27. A half gallon of milk delivered was $0.52. Cents. One dozen eggs would have cost you $0.57. Cents, and a loaf of bread would have cost you $0.20. Cents. Going out to the gas pump, it would have cost you about 31 cents per gallon average. A new car would have cost you between $2,600 and $3,200, depending upon the make and model. A new house would have cost you on average $12,700, depending upon where you lived. And the average income, this is new for the series, was $5,315 per year in the United States of America. Other happenings in 1960, on September 30th of 1960, the Flintstones aired for the first time on TV. Now this was an animated sitcom and it was done by Hanna-Barbera Productions. This was the longest running network animated television series for three decades until The Simpsons came out in 1989. As a little side note, as the Flintstones grew in popularity, Jackie Gleason had considered suing Hanna-Barbera for intellectual property rights for his sitcom The Honeymooners However, he reconsidered as he didn't want to be known as the man who killed Fred Flintstone. On September the 26th, the first presidential debate on television was between Richard Nixon and John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Now, however, the actual first debate was done November 4th of 1956 with two women. This is the first time the candidates themselves actually debated live on national television. And on August 6th, 1960s on the Dick Clark show, Dick Clark introduced Chubby Checkers and the Twist. Now this has gone on for decades. This is a very popular dance move and there's many, many TV shows even up to this day that uses the twist in their, in part of the movie. I remember whenever we was young kids dancing to the twist when we would have little parties and when my mom and dad would go out, I remember they were doing the twist at the time too. Maybe you remember some of that yourself. Okay, enough of the history. Let's go look at a few coins for the year 1960. The first coin that we're going to look at is going to be the 1960 D over D Lincoln Cent RPM number one. Now this is in the Cherry Pickers Guide as the Fiva Stanton 502. In a mint state 63 red, you can expect to get about $46 for it. A 65 red, about $65. In a 66 red, about $100. There's a population of 28. 
On April the 1st of 2016 on an eBay auction, a PCGS 66 Red sold for $204.05. Now up next, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you my top five RPMs for the 1960 Denver series. Now these are in no, well, they're in a particular order, but they range anywhere from $5 to, well, the RPM number 100 is a small over large date, which you'll find later in the date. But these are just some nice RPMs that you might want to be looking for if you happen to be roll searching or just checking your pocket change. They do add extra value, so I just thought I would show them to you here and just give you an idea of some of the very nice RPMs for the year 1960. And as I just said, here is the 1960. This is the D over D, but it's also the small over large date in the Cherry Pickers Guide. It's the Fever Stanton 101. Now that's a double die obverse. In a Mint State 63, they go for about $125. A Mint State 65, $185. Mint State 66, $525, and they have a population of 17. These are for all red examples. On March 31st of 2012, at an eBay auction, a PCGS 66 Red sold for $2,939. Now we're going to look at a couple of the proof coins. So if you have any 1960 proof sets, you may want to look at them. The first one we're going to look at is a 1960 proof small over large date. In a Mint State 63, just a regular proof, they go for about $100. In a 65, these are going to be red, 275. In a 68 grade, they'll go for $1,700. And in a 69 proof, they go for $4,000, and there's only a population of one. Now, these come in cameo and deep cameo. The record for this coin was set on June 3rd of 2006 at a heritage auction where a PCGS 68 Red sold for $4,600. Now, as I said, they do come in deep cam, and for a 66 deep cam, they have it listed as $2,000, but there's only a pop of one. Now, we're going to stay with the proof sets, and in 1960, they also had the large over small date proof. Now, these first proofs I'm going to show you are just red proofs, and a proof 63 they go for about $75. For a proof 65, $225. And for a proof 68, about $700. There is a proof 69. PCGS has it listed at $8,500 with a population of one. On July 30th of 2003, at a Heritage auction, the PCGS 69 Red sold for $7,475. I'm sure it's went up by then. And I'd like to also note that if you happen to find these in a cameo, they're going to command probably three times the price that I just give you. As I do know there is some, they've got to be out there. So get those proof sets out and start looking. Now there's going to be a B part to this video and maybe even a C. I just don't know yet. It depends on how many varieties I find for the part B and we'll just go from there. But here's a view of a couple of the coins that we will be showing in the next video. Hope you stay tuned because there's some very high priced coins for the year 1960. This series is just chock full of one variety after the next. So I hope you join us. And there you have it. This is part A of, like I said, it's going to be a B, maybe even a C. I don't quite know yet. So, hope you stick to, or that. Yeah, I hope you stay tuned. <laughs> stick around, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscription button so you can take and watch the rest of this series as well as more. I will be doing the entire decade of 1960. And that entire decade, I can tell you right now, it was great to be alive back then as far as it was just one variety after the next for each and every year. So we do hope you take and subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up. And don't forget, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. We have auctions every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, Monday and Friday, they're at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Wednesdays, we have them at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, on July 29 to the 31st, we have the Greater Cincinnati Coin Expositions that's going to be happening at the Sharonville Convention Center. 
I'll leave a flyer at the end of this video so you can check it out as far as where it's going to be, the time frames, and just a little bit of everything, hotels, you name it. I think it's got a lot of it on there, or almost all of it. I'll be doing this video separate just for that so that you'll be able to take and it'll be chock full of all that information. So we hope you come join us. Last year we had about 75 people from the YouTube Point community come and join us. We just had a wonderful time. So take care, everybody. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and join us for part B, maybe even part C of this video. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful week. And as I always like to say, happy hunting.